What made Mike Spence fight? He had heart. His power. I mean, he could hit. He could knock down a wall. He had that that warrior attitude. You would have to to beat him. You had to kill him. He was going to go out. If he if you were going to put him out, you had to you know carry him out the ring. He had a killer left hook or right hook, I should say, left hand. It was dominating. Uh, not too many people could stand stand a toe to toe with him. Um, I just remember sparring him. Guy hit like a truck. I learned to get out the way. I mean, he hit like a train. Everybody knows that about him. But uh, you know, he just go in there and give it his all every time, no matter what. You know? That's that's what counts. He meant it. Some guys fight because it's technical. Some guys fight because that's what they think they were gonna do. Mike fights because he meant it. Because he fought his whole life. You can tell that's what he did. And when that bell rung, it just it was a whole he was a whole different person. Mike teach me outside of the ring. How a nice guy. Nice guy you wanna meet. If he had a dollar on you and his last dollar, he'd give it to you. Even outside the ring, man, I mean, it's hard. I mean, working with kids. I mean, in the gym. We used to have guys come to the gym all the time, and um, he actually would coach. You know, he works with he worked with some amateurs, uh, and, and he put a lot of time and effort in with, with with some of the younger guys, even though he was young himself. When I walked up in here, you know, he always was the type of dude that basically accept everybody, you know, and. Very friendly, very friendly. Outside the ring, uh, just a cool guy. Very friendly, very personable. Mike always wanted to go out and, and get, he did a canned food drive on his own. He did this on his own. He would do a canned food drive, and after the canned food drive, he'd make sure that uh, Baptist Church, which is in his neighborhood, would get the canned foods. That's how big of a heart he had. It's kind of weird, the situation with him dying so young, man, was that he made a point to always tell you how much he loved you. Like, he always come up, I'll be in the gym and it's like, he ain't seen me in five years. He's gonna grab me, you know, freaking squeeze him like I'm a chiropractor breaking all my backs and just tell him you love him. You know, you go back, the same thing to Mo, same thing to Jake. What I miss Mike most about Mike? Mike, miss Mike uh, coming in the gym late, saying why, he, why he's late and this and that, and just him coming up, hitting me all the time, and teasing me and grabbing me around the head and just, Miss Mike a lot. Everything, everything Mike did, I miss. Mess around with Mo, you know, <laughs> like when Mo like working the miss with him, even outside the ring, he would like jump at Mo, you know, play around. I mean, you go in there and he'd be pulling pranks on Jake and pranks on Mo, and it was just, it was hilarious, man. I miss his dedication um, and his achievements. He was an inspiration to a lot of us who would come here to Baltimore Boxing. Just his presence, really. I mean, uh, him being in air was just watching him train and everything. You know, it's kind of motivating for you to push yourself, you know, take it to the next level. I'll tell you what, the last couple times I went to Baltimore, it's hard, man. It's not a day that goes by that I don't miss him. It really is. Dropped a lot of tears because of the kid. In good ways and bad ways. <laughs> yeah, but I miss him. You remember Mike, you know, his, his, his powerful knockouts. Um, as a person, is always, always looking to lend a hand. One of the best fighters in Baltimore, and the nicest guy in Baltimore. Cut his right hand off. Cut his right hand off for you. That's how they should remember Mike. You know, the American dream is you know anybody can you know have that dream, the American dream. He came from nothing, and he had. He was on the way to have everything, man. It was a. Uh... I mean, it was a tr truly a great boxer. He's going to be remembered for that. But outside of boxing, he was just a. A champion person. Mike, man, I miss you. Uh, you know, I wish you could be here with, with, with uh, myself coming back to the ring. Um, you know, rest in peace, bud. And he's missed, man. We love you, man.